Now we're going to take the design that we created, that graduation card, and we're going to cut it. So in order to do that, I've connected my machine to my Cricut Explore. I know it's um, it's the air, I have the air, and it should be doing it by Bluetooth, but I've never figured out quite yet how to do that. So I'm gonna do it this way. So anyways, here's what we created earlier in the design space. We're still in design space. We're gonna hit go. And it's going to take us here, where the preview map. It's going to, we have to wait a little bit to load everything up to make sure that everything is there. And then we're going to hit go again, so it'll send it to the Cricut machine. And you notice the first thing is going to be what we're going to uh, print first. Okay, so I will hit print, and it will send it to my computer and I will hit print here and we'll wait for it to print. Now I'm gonna put it on a cutting mat. I'm gonna use just the regular grip because it's just cardstock. So I make sure it's good and stuck right here. Now you notice this light is flashing. We have it on cardstock. So we're gonna load the mat. So we load it by Pressing this, it loads into the Cricut. And we'll wait for the the middle button, the C part here, the Cricut logo, to start flashing. And then we'll hit that and it'll start scanning. See it. Once it's done scanning, it, it takes a little while to scan it. And then um, it's going to cut it. Now, very important to remember, before you even try to print and cut and all that, you have to calibrate your Cricut machine with your printer, otherwise it's just not going to work. There's instructions on uh, the Cricut um, design space, just click on the help button I believe, or and, and then it'll take you to the PDF file and you can it'll show you step by step on how to calibrate it. Actually, you're calibrated on your design space where that little logo, where your name is, uh, you drop it down and it'll say calibrate, and that's pretty much how it works. And it tells you step by step, it's really simple. Okay, so now it's ready to cut. Okay, so now it's done. We will unload our mat, and then we can carefully remove all of this. Um, and it's pretty much printed and cut it the way we want. It has a little space for the fish here, and it, and it printed what we want. So now we're ready for the next piece that we're gonna do, and that would be, I guess, the fish that we're also gonna print and cut. So we'll do the same exact thing, and uh, I'll show you how this works. So. Okay. so now we're gonna cut the card base. So we need the scoring tool. This does not come with a Cricut. It comes with like a starter kit. It has scissors, the scoring tool, a couple of other things. So you will put it in here. This is the part that's it's marked A. So you will put this in here until it clicks. Okay, once it clicks, you hold it in place. This will score so that you can fold the card. It's all done. And let's see. You can't really see the score mark. I don't know. Can you see it there? You kind of see the score mark right here. That's where you're going to fold the card. 
over, so it's really easy to have to guess. Okay, now we've got all our pieces cut. We'll be putting them together in just a little while. All these pieces we've cut. Okay, you know, we, this is the card base that I've cut and I've folded. It's right here. It's been folded, so it's a five by seven. These are all the backgrounds that I want to use. I cut this out because I thought it was cute, kind of last minute. And then I have this one here, and then we cut the fish. See how the print and cut cut the fish out perfectly. We have the little uh, cap right here, and then we have this. So now you're probably wondering, how's this all going to turn into a card? Well, we're going to use a variety of different uh, glues. You could actually use anything. Elmer's glue works, really, it does. Uh, it's nothing fancy. And then we'll use some stamps that I have. I'm not sure what I have, but I'm pretty sure I have something that'll probably work. And we'll put it all together. So I'm going to be gluing all of that in layers. Now, I like to use this, um, it's a foam glue. I mean, excuse me, it's a foam tape. It kind of raises it up, gives it a little bit of a, a 3D effect. I kind of, I like, I really like to use this on cards and other projects. But, um, it, it, when you buy it at the craft store, it's normally white. I get these from my husband. He, they use it in his car stereo shop. It's a double stick tape by 3M. And since I get it for free, it sure beats paying five or six bucks for the little white ones and you really can't even see them. Although if, if it is something that I think might be visible, then I do go ahead and use the white ones. That, and then I have these glue dots. Uh, I like these because it, it just glues everything flat and um, it looks really good. You, it, you don't get that lumpiness because sometimes when you're using a liquid adhesive, it kind of gets lumpy or the card starts to warp. Then these also, this is a glue runner, a dot runner. Um, they are kind of pricey. That's why I, I, but I do have them. I find them on sale and I buy them every so often. So I'll be gluing all this and I'll show you the end result. The various glue types I have. So this would be my card front. It says, oh, the places you'll go. And then I glued in the inside and it has my sentiment there. Now um, we can write his name. We can write to Javon. He's the graduating boy. And then we can always write whatever else we want, love, whoever. And if you notice, this one's a little bit up, look kind of looks 3D because I used a double layer of um, that uh, foam tape on there, the double sided, the double sided foam tape. Then we just used some stamps and we stamped it up, and it's good to go. It should fit in in a five by seven envelope, or you can. What I like to do when if it's too big, like you know, too thick like this, is get one of those uh, cellophane, um, clear cellophane bags and. You slip that in and you can slip a little something with it and it looks really good. So these are one of the things that you can do with your Cricut Explore. You can make cards. I made this one here um, the other day. I actually probably post a little something about it. This is a 50th anniversary card using, but I, I made some gold foil, I made some doilies and I did really make it all fancy and layered it up. But I've done that, and then I've done some decorating, and I'll post some pictures of all my projects that you can do with the Explore, the uh, electronic die cutting machine, um, and paper and glue, actually, you know, but like I said, this machine will also cut fabric. I use it to cut um, appliques for sewing t-shirts and um, dresses that I make for my grandchildren. Uh, it'll make stencils for you. I make stencils for my wood crafting things, you know, um, pictures or whatever. And I'll be posting more projects that I've done using my Cricut and also some of my other toys that I seem to be collecting along the way, such as the Texture Boutique by Sizzix and also the Big Kick by Sizzix. But these are more die cutting and embossing machines, but that's all kind of hand cranked. We'll do that another time. Just wanted to let you know that we can and we'll see you next time thanks what this place it yeah